PeachTools.com. G'day guys, Pete from Peach Tools, how are you all going today? Another beautiful day on my side of the planet. Today what I'm going on about guys is do you really lose that much cutting power going from 220 to 110 volt on these multi voltage machines? This machine will either run on 110 or 220 or anything in between I think. So we'll do a couple of little experiments guys, see what we can actually cut on 110 volt and then we'll change to 220 and we'll see if it makes any difference. Anyway guys, same as usual, like my video, subscribe, drop me a like, drop me a comment, come say good day in the comments below if you want. So guys, let's get into it, yeah! So guys, if you notice on my machine here, we've got um, 110 volt or 220 volt and it automatically detects what voltage you got into it. Like at the moment I've got it plugged into 220, so if I turn it on, see it's telling me that we're running on 220 volts. So at 220 volts, I can get right up to 50 amp, but at 110 volt, I can only get it to 35 amp. Here, I'll show you guys. Let me turn this off. Now I'll go and plug it into 110. Rightio guys, I've just plugged it into 110, so check up here, I'll turn it on, and it should tell us that we're running on 110 volt. See that? Did you see the lights change there from 220 to 110? Now if I do the same on the amperage at 110, look what happens. Maximum we can go here is 35 amp. So that's the most it's going to cut at 35 amp on 110 volts. So we'll do a little experiment, see what we can cut, see if there's any big difference between 220 and 110. Right, guys, so we're back at 220. See it changed back to 220 there. Right, so we're going to do some cutting at 50 amp. We'll see what we can actually cut. So guys, we've got some three mil plate here, so we'll whack through that at 220 volts. See how that goes. So that was no big deal guys, cut through that quite easily. So we'll go up a size a little bit. We've got some 5 mil here, so we'll have a go at whacking through that. Once again guys, no trouble whatsoever, like a hot knife through butter. Well right, now let's try the big mama, the half inch stuff. See if we can cut through that with 240 volt. Here we go guys, it cut it. Struggling there a little bit, but we got there in the end. I think it might be the angle I'm holding the, uh, the torch, because I think I had it on a little bit too much of an angle. But anyway, we managed to cut through it. The cut's a little bit ugly, see how it's just not exactly straight? It was the angle I had the torch on, I'm bloody quite sure of it. Anyway, so that's on 220. So what we'll do guys, we'll repeat the whole thing, but I'll do it on 110 this time. See it's changed to 110 and it went from 50 amp to 35 amp, you see that? We've got down here 10 amp, maximum now is 35 because we're on the lower voltage. Right, All right, let's do some cutting with that. Right there guys, we've got 4 mil plate again. 110 volts, 35 amps.
Here we go guys, same thing again, piece of cake, 110 volt, cut through that, no worries at all. Right, now let's go a little bit bigger. There we go guys, 5 mil again. Certainly cut through that all right again guys, no worries at all. Right, now let's see if we'll do the bloody half inch one. Here we go guys! <laughs> Once again guys, not a perfect cut, see we're cutting on an angle and that's the way I'm holding the torch, I'm quite sure as I've watched myself do it and I'm just holding it on, the, I'm just on a slight angle and it exaggerates it, the thicker you cut the more the, the angle gets exaggerated, that's what I find anyway. But anyway, 110 volt guys, it's definitely slower than on a 220 but you can cut it. So 110 guys, it does cut, not perfect by any stretch of the imagination, but not too shabby either guys. So it actually says it can cut 14 mil, but it doesn't say what voltage it will cut it at. So I'm presuming that's 220 volt, but you just seen what I did, so it obviously works. But it will cut it at 110, it just takes a little bit more effort. Yo, that's still hot Pete, yeah! So guys, as you can see, 110, 220 volt, cuts all right. On 110, you wouldn't want to go any more than about half inch like we have here, but it's not designed to do any more than that anyway. Anyway guys, same as usual, like the video, subscribe, drop me a like, drop me a comment, come say good day in the comments below if you want, and we'll see you next time, eh? Oh guys, if you want to see a video about the review I did on this machine, check up here, I'll put a link up there for you. And if you want to know how to bend the steel but you haven't got a gas torch, check up there, I'll put another video up that direction. See you later guys. Bye. Peachtools.com.com.com.